Do you want to create stunning AI images like the one that you see on X? Well, you're not alone, but most designers make one key mistake that ruins the results. So in this quick video, I'll show you exactly how to generate polished AI images step by step and how to avoid this one common trap that is preventing you to generate the visuals that you want. Also, I'm launching a training on how to get started in UI UX design, so depending on when you're watching this, the link might already be down below, so be sure to check it out. What you want to do is actually quite simple and this is not going to be a long tutorial because you essentially wanted to select an image with the style similar to the outcome that you want in your custom visual. So that means that, for example, if I want to create a framer icon which has somewhat of a style similar to this one, I'm going to take this original image and I'm simply going to copy and paste it into ChatGPT. So I'm going to go right away. I'm not going to use uh, any of the plugins that are available. So we're going to copy this image and I'm going to ask, can you create a unique image of the framer logo, somewhat similar to the vibes in this image? And uh, what you're going to notice is that uh, we are going to have a very similar outcome by using a prompt which is uh, as easy as and simple as this one here. So there's no need for any complicated prompts and uh, all of uh, the nonsense that I've seen out there. So overall, uh, it's uh, going to enable you to either select one of these uh, two responses. We're going to go with this one, which is uh, more similar to the actual Framer logo. And then uh, after that, uh, what you can do is to simply ask it, for example, can you remove uh, the text? And uh, basically go on and refine it uh, all the way to the degree that by which is going to adhere to what uh, you're looking to get uh, in terms of uh, the visual outcome. You can even uh, go and, uh, for example, drop uh, the SPG of uh, the Framer logo and uh, ask it to replicate it exactly because this is a stylized version of uh, what uh, that logo is um, actually looking. So as you can see, we can start uh, receiving visuals which are quite in line with uh, the initial concept. Now you can even bring it one step further and uh, for example add images that you can utilize in the background. So for example I'm going to utilize this uh, background right here and I'm going to go back into uh, ChatGPT and ask it uh, create uh, a variation which uh, utilizes uh, this uh, as a background uh, and the logo is light uh, so changing up uh, the theme at this point we're going to mix things up and then we're going to go with uh, a different type of uh, theme variation so let's see what uh, it uh, yields and as you can see now, we have a completely different direction. So overall, the general theme with ChatGPT is uh, you have to give it uh, the right uh, information and uh, give, fitting it with examples of exactly what uh, you're looking for. It's going to help massively in the outcome. So this is something that you want to keep in mind. Over here, for example, we could uh, give it uh, examples of uh, glossy icons with uh, some sort of like 3D effect to it. Maybe we're going to refine also this element as it feels like it's almost like just cropped out and it's showcasing the background while in reality we probably want something which is more custom filled in and almost like having that 3D gradient effect. So it's just a matter of uh, insisting with the prompt and uh, especially feeding it examples uh, that uh, are in line with what we're looking for because especially when it comes to visual design uh, it's uh, hard for a machine uh, to understand uh, without uh, giving it reference data so that is one of the things which is definitely going to be uh, helpful so i hope uh, this video was helpful for some of you guys out there and uh, i'll uh, see you in the very next one